Hey guys, today we're going to look at concentration and actually look at three different ways that we can calculate concentration. So the first way is called molarity, and molarity has an R in it. That's how you can tell that this is different than a, a later one that we're going to look at. So molarity is defined as the amount of solute in moles dissolved in one liter of a solvent. So it's going to be a simple division problem with moles being divided by liters. So this is going to be important because if I give you milliliters, you will have to convert it. So it can be found using the following equation. Capital M stands for molarity, is number of moles divided by the number of liters present. So it's just going to be simple division. So here's our example. How many grams of NaOH are needed to make 0.5 liters of 0.25 molarity NaOH solution. So just like normal, I'm gonna have you list your knowns and unknowns. So molarity, number of moles, and number of liters. The molarity is 0.25, number of moles is our question mark, and number of liters is 0 0.5. So if we use our equation, number of moles divided by number of liters, we have 0.25 equals our unknown divided by 0.5. And when we multiply both sides by 0.5, our number of moles present ends up being 0.125 moles. Now this isn't the end of the problem. They asked how many grams are present. So we are now going to take the, the equation from the last unit and use number of moles equals sample mass over molar mass, and molar mass is NaOH, so Na is 23, O is 16, and H is 1, so our molar mass is 40. And then we're going to multiply 40 in 0.125, and our sample mass is five grams. So we need to dissolve five grams of NaOH in a half a liter in order to have a molarity of 0.25. So all molarity is, it is it tells us how much is present of that solute. So 0.25 being less than one is actually a pretty weak solution. So the next example is molality. And molality is the amount of solute in moles dissolved in one kilogram of solvent. So molality has two L's, molarity has an R. Molarity is a capital M. Molality is now a curly Q cursive M. So molality is number of moles divided by number of kilograms. So just like the last example, if I give you grams, you are going to have to convert the solvent into kilograms in order to do this equation. So here's our molality example. If you have 65 grams of NaCl dissolved in 200 grams of pure water, what would the molality be of the solution? So first thing, in order to use the molality solution, and I'm gonna write it kinda down the middle, we're going to need number of moles and number of kilograms. They give me grams of NaCl. So I'm actually gonna to have to do one calculation first before I can calculate the molality of that solution. I know that it's being dissolved in water. In 200 grams, I'm gonna to convert to kilograms. So one, two, three decimal places is 0.2 kilograms. I'm solving for the molality. So the number of moles I still have to find before being able to do this problem. And again, we're going to use that equation from the previous unit, number of moles, sample mass, and molar mass. My sample mass is 65 grams. My molar mass of NaCl is 58 grams, a sodium and one chlorine added together. So my equation is 65 divided by 58, which is 1.12 moles. So now this number is going to be plugged in as my number of moles. 
and then I'm going to use curly Q is equal to moles over kgs. So my molality is 1.12 over 0.2 and now my molality is 5.6. So the unit for molality is just the curly QM. Unlike mass being G, molality is just that curly Q cursive M. So molarity is number of moles divided by liters. Molality is number of moles divided by kilograms. Again, if you don't know the number of moles, you may have to do this beginning step first in order to find the second step, or you may have to do it to find your final answer if they ask for the amount of grams. The last one is the most confusing. Mole fraction is the ratio of the number of moles of solute in a solution related to the total number of moles of the solute and solvent combined. Since it is a ratio, there is no unit for the mole fraction. You are not going to write any letters after it. And it can be found using the following equation. So mole fraction is equals to mole A or B divided by mole A plus B. So the top you are going to use one or the other, the bottom you are going to add up the total of both. Hopefully that'll make sense after the next example problem. So if you have 0.1 moles of NaCl dissolved into 100 grams of pure water, what is the mole fraction in terms of NaCl? So first thing we have to do is write down the number of moles. So I have moles of NaCl is 0.1. They gave me grams of water. So what I'm gonna to have to do is that sample mass over molar mass equation. Equals number of moles. My sample mass is 100 and my molar mass of water is 18. And that gives me 5.56 as my number of moles of water. 5.56. So I have 0.1 moles of NaCl, 5.56 moles of water in that scenario. Now my equation is mole A or B over mole A plus B. So since this asks in terms of NaCl, on the top of that fraction bar, I'm going to put the number of moles of NaCl. On the bottom, I have to take A and add it to B. So I'm going to take this 0.1 and add it to the 5.56. Now I have to do this first. I cannot just divide out those 0.1s. And I have 0.1 over 5.66, which is a mole fraction value of 0 0.018. And again, there are no units, so you don't have to put any terms after that. And finally, we're going to write the same thing, but now in terms of H2O. So we're going to use the same equation, mole A or B divided by mole A plus B. But now we want water on the top of that fraction bar. So I'm going to put 5.56, which is the moles of water. And on the bottom, I'm going to put this total that we found already in the previous problem, which is 5.66. And when we divide that out, we have a value of 0.982 as our amount. So the mole fraction of NaCl in this scenario is 0 0.018. The mole fraction of H2O is 0 0.982. Now the awesome things about mole fractions, since they are ratios, you are actually solving for two parts of a whole. So these are kind of like percents. So this is 1.8% of sodium chloride and 98.2% of water. When we add these two values together, it should equal 1 or 100%. So that's the way you can guess and check and make sure that your, that your numerical value is correct. If you add your two final answers together, they have to equal 1 or 100%. So here are the three ways that we're going to practice calculating concentration. Molarity is going to use, be used most often, and we will use it in the next unit also. 
molality is the next most often used. And mole fraction, we just want to look at in terms of percentage of substance. And mole fraction, we just want to look at in terms of percents of solvent versus solute. So here are the ways that we calculate them. I will see you tomorrow with any questions, and we're going to practice a whole bunch in class. So I'll see you soon.